Hour. What does Las Vegas think of the Detroit Lions? I don't know. They came from behind yesterday to win their preseason finale, beating the Buffalo Bills 28-23. to But uh, let's face it, the starters didn't play very much at all. Javid Best didn't carry the ball at all, as I understand it. And uh, Matthew Stafford, uh, just, what did he, just a couple of plays, as I understand it. But uh, Ken Dallafor, who played for the Lions, the Steelers, the Chargers, he's a vice president with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan on the other end of our line. Ready for some football, Ken? Absolutely, Michael Patrick, and good morning, and how exciting this time of year is. Uh, it is exciting now to have the preseason out of the way. I know they're talking about maybe uh, extending the NFL season, the regular season, to 18 games. I presume that would mean that they would eliminate two of the preseason games. What do you think of that idea? You, you, you've talked to me before about how your body felt like it was in a car accident after uh, NFL games. Could they withstand 18 and the playoffs? Well, I, I think that uh, it... it Will cause well, it'll cause more more injuries. I think it will be, but it'll cause more revenue, which is what the the business of the league is about. Mm -hmm. And I really do think there's too many preseason games. I mean, just like last night, you had your starters play a few snaps, and the whole idea is to get through the preseason, evaluate players, and then get on to the regular season. So fewer preseason. I don't know about the extra uh, regular season, but my guess is that money will drive that decision. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, if you're going to have preseason games where the starters only play, I mean, do you really need four games to determine who's going to make the team? No, I don't think you do. I, in fact, I think it's a it's a hindrance. It's just too long and too too risky uh, to get too many injuries for that long. And I know a guy like Matthew Stafford and Javid Best and the rest of the starters, for whatever reason, have to be prepared to play in a preseason game, even though they may think they're going in for a play or two. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. So they got to get their dander up, if you will, right, and get all psyched up for the game. And so uh, if there's no point in it, it's, uh, I would think, makes it too long a season at such a violent level. Uh, agreed. And like I said, I think the money will drive this. And uh, because of uh, some of the TV contracts and so on, uh, I think the extra games will help them uh, maintain a revenue that they've enjoyed for the past years. We promised to ignore the 3 and one exhibition record because everybody knows that the Lions were 4-0 and when they went 0-16 and in the regular season. So it really doesn't mean much, even though I guess it probably feels good for the team to, to win rather than lose. Um, what do you think? I mean, we're hearing all sorts of conflicting things about the Lions this year. Do we have reason to be optimistic? I think we have reason to be very enthusiastic about the upcoming season. Uh, with the moves they made, with the development and maturity of Matthew Stafford, and he has some folks around him now mm -hmm. uh, that he did in last year, uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting year offensively if everybody stays healthy. The offensive line is pretty solid. Um, you know, our big question mark is, uh, defense and depth, and so. Uh, but uh, I think we have a lot of reasons to be enthusiastic. And when you see a lot of the preseason predictions, there's not a lot of wins in those predictions. But uh, as the season goes, maybe a little momentum and uh, things start rolling the right way for the Lions this year. We'll start with your predictions next Friday, Ken Delafour, and we keep track. Welcome to the NFL. 35 minutes after the hour, Ken Dalfour with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, a NFL veteran.